Hi, I'm Allison, and we would like to show you around our RV, so come on in. So when you first walk into the RV, you kind of step into um, the kitchen on your left, and then the bed is kind of up to your right, what's down my left. Um, and the bed is on a loft above the cab. So since it's a Class C motorhome, there is the kind of car part um, of our house, which Cheat has claimed as his own to sit and look out the windows. <laughs> um, so when you first walk in, you see the cab, our bed, um, as well as kind of an easy chair sort of area, which I don't think you can see in the shot right this moment, but you will in a minute. Um, and then you also see this big, what we call the box that we built here. Um, and so this serves a lot of purposes. It is a desk. You see the chair here and the monitor. So it's kind of a work area for when we want that. Um, it's also extra counter space for the kitchen. Um, it's also has this pantry space that we installed to the side. And it also stores our batteries for the solar system underneath. So you see that big bank of power and that's where our solar panels kind of store all their power um, as well as if we are plugged in to kind of shore power um, that all charges the batteries. So that's where those are. Um, Cheat's food is also stored over here. His bed is on this side. Um, and then there's some other odds and ends, you know, like trash cans and recycling, um, the ladder for the bed, that all is over there. Um, so then once you come inside, um, the kitchen is right here. And so it's small, but we actually have a full kitchen setup, just like you would in any house. We have a stove, an oven, microwave, uh, sink. We don't have a dishwasher, which would be nice, but would use a lot of water. <laughs> um, but yeah, it actually has a better layout than our house in Denver did, um, which is really nice. And then right behind me, there's the fridge and the freezer. Um, and yeah, we've actually had enough power from our solar panels that we've been able to run the microwave kind of as much as we want so far, which is really nice. Um, and we're still getting used to just kind of the space constraints, but so far so good. I actually baked cookies the other day and I've been cooking a lot. So that's something that's really important to me and it's been really nice. Um, so that's the kitchen. And if you come back this way, you see the oh so glorious bathroom. Um, so that's not really anything to write home about. Of course, there's a toilet. The shower is behind this, um, kind of shoe, uh, pocket organizer, which has been really nice as far as kind of getting our little odds and ends, things like, uh, lint rollers and command hooks that are extra, things like that out of the way. Um, and then the shower's back there. Um, and then if you keep going through, we of course have curtains and pocket doors for some privacy. Um, and then back here is the dinette. Um, that was originally placed where we have um, the box now. And we moved it back here just to kind of open up the space a little bit, um, as well as give us um, some additional kind of working room back here and some storage room. So Nick installed back here um, kind of a storage box that we think of as kind of our linen closet. It's got some extra sheets, um, my yoga mat, uh, some other odds and ends, blankets, things like that are all stored in here. Um, we also installed this dresser, um, some nightstands, just some things to really make it um, have more storage than the RV came with. Um, since RVs are not built for full-time inhabitation, <laughs> we had to uh, install a lot of that for ourselves. But we actually, after doing some purging, have fit all of our things in here, which is really great. Um, we do have to be really good about organization. 
So you see that we have made good use of baskets and label makers and everything else under the sun in order to get everything in and make maximum use of all these cabinets that we have. Um, but yeah, this, as well as all of our spaces in here, um, serve, um, multiple uses. Uh, this is where Nick works during the day and it's also where we eat. Um, and that's pretty much it. Oh, also a special shout out to Nick's grandmother who sewed these curtains for us and they're beautiful. Um, and I think that's about it. So thanks for coming on the two-bit tour and we hope you can see it in person sometime soon if you haven't.